We're filming. You should probably look at the camera. Hello there! Tonight! Can't say tonight. Hello there! Today! Do you want to be in the video? Do you want to be in a video or not? Because if you want to be in a video, you're going to have to stare at the camera. Today, I am going to talk to you about a topic. People are considering this a revelation. I don't think it's a revelation. Actually, in all honesty, I think it is complete stupidity. Wouldn't you agree, Trigger? She agrees. Trust me. I know her agreeance face, and that is definitely her agreeance face. What I am going to talk to you about today is Trojans. Trojan at Walmart is now selling the Trojan sensitivity pack. Now, a lot of people think this is a motherfucking miracle, but it is not a miracle. Okay, sensitivity pack, which means they're making their condoms a lot less sturdy nowadays because they want to try and somehow, like, Increase the pleasurable censorness of sex, whatever. What is wrong with a regular condom? Regular condoms offer many things, such as dependability, flexibility, compatibility, and durability. Regular condoms offer all of these things, so why would we want to try and experiment with a sensitivity pack? I have a uh, demonstration that I um, am going to show you. Sensitivity means they're thinner. They say that they are thinner. What do they say? Well, I don't really know what they say, okay? But they claim that they're thinner. And I don't think this is a good thing. I really do not think that... Thinner condoms is a good thing. Now, you may have watched my Random Facts video. In that video that I filmed over a year ago, I talked about how there's a lot of people having sex and how contraceptives um, are not used all that much. You know, I... What are you doing? If you don't want to be in the mainstream of the camera, you should probably not be inside of the camera at all. Uh, no. Anyways, the thing about sensitive, ultra-thin Trojan condoms, there's a big problem here. They're making them thinner, which means that they increase the ability of the condom to break. Now, I have some of these things, okay? Of course, I keep them in the Theraflu cold and cough box. When you grab one of these little buggers, the thing you have to realize is that you have to open it the right way. On this side, you can clearly see there's an expiration date, and on this side, there is not. Now, when you open these things, it can get a little tricky, okay? You tear it like this. This is a condom. This is a Trojan Ultra Thin Condom. Uh, depending on the way you open it, you're either going to try and, like, roll it on backwards, and obviously, as you can see, that does not work because it's not designed to roll out that way. Now, in order to make this video more productive, have a banana. Because bananas are extremely similar to other objects that are related to the use of condoms. Now, put the thing on there. Put the condom on there. Squeeze the tip. The tip? Squeeze the tip. Because you don't want any air pockets. Air pockets are a bad thing. And then what you do is you, it's very, very lubricated condom, actually. You gotta give them some, a little bit of credit for that. Put that condom on that banana like this, okay? All the way down until it hits the base. Okay, now we have the condom on the banana, and uh, it's got an air pocket. Mother For informational purposes of this video, we're gonna pretend that there is not an air pocket in the end of this banana. Okay, as you can see, I reduced the air pocket in this banana slash condom thing. Now, the problem that I want to talk about with these Trojan Ultra Thin condoms is that they um, do not have the durability that regular condoms have. Okay, I'm gonna be really gay when I do this. Now, these Trojan Ultra Thin Condoms, when they get a little bit of action going on here, people, you know, they get a little bit of action kind of going like this. Yep. Okay, that's all good. Very good. Problem with these condoms is, you know, and they keep going like this. Sometimes they go faster. Let's sing song. Do, 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 do. 
in, in all actuality. You don't even get to the six do, actually. Um, what happens is do, 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 do. <laughs> Anyways, let's say that you can uh, surpass the sixth do in the Jeopardy song. What happens with these condoms is they get so goddamn worn out that they will just break. Just because, you know, they're ultra thin, very ultra thin Trojan condoms, when they break, you do not realize that they break. And this is a big problem. If this condom breaks and this banana starts to shoot uh, banana particles into the thing that it was going into in the first place, well, then you can uh, imagine that eventually, you know, I'm just gonna throw this out here for, I'm just in about 270 days, this little harmless banana right here, which is very crooked by the way, is going to produce more bananas. And this is not good. Okay, I'm gonna set this thing down because it smells like a latex. And, and frankly, it's getting my hands all nasty. Oh my god. The problem with the condoms breaking is overpopulation. Okay, there are six billion people on the planet right now. Now, Trojan has done a very good job at keeping this population problem down up until this point. But since they have decided to create value packs and sell them at Walmart that are called Trojan Sensitivity Packs. I don't think it's good, okay, because these things are, they ha they will suffer from increased chances of breaking. And when they break, that means that people are going to get pregnant. And when people get pregnant, it's going to lead to uh, increased overpopulation. And this is not a good thing, okay, because the earth, being the earthly, earthly thing that it is, only has so much natural resources to offer our planet in the first place okay so like we get too many people on the planet because these bananas are just spouting off like psh, 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 you know shooting their shit all over the place we're gonna get way too many people that are gonna get pregnant and when they get pregnant they're gonna make little kids and then when those kids grow up, they're going to make more kids. And pretty soon, by the time it's 2015, we're going to have like 1,700 million times 200,000 people on the planet. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of people. That's just so many people. The point that I'm trying to prove here is that the Trojan Ultra Sensitive Value Pack is not a good thing. Do not buy this. This is not a good thing. And that's really all I wanted to talk about today. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to check out my Facebook page. And do not forget to not buy this. I don't care if Walmart sells it. Do not buy this mother package. As I always say, thank you for watching and please subscribe.